The new Maya launchpad is finally here. With Continue Royale, a new play-to-earn game makes its way to the Elrond blockchain. The game is set to provide a seamless onboarding experience while making sure that anyone can play the game without having to buy an NFT in the beginning. And so, from fully model 3D NFT characters to the game's tokenomics, here is everything you need to know about the latest Maya Launchpad project. Stay tuned! Hi guys, my name is Luis from Story Vision, and in this video we will be going over what Cantina Royale is all about, the upcoming Genesis Space Ape NFT collection and much more and I will be answering the questions you sent me but let's do all of that step by step, beginning with the game itself. As I already mentioned, Cantina Royale is a play to earn game, meaning that players will be able to earn the game's own CRT token by taking part in both single and multiplayer action either in a PvE or player vs player game mode set on the planet of Etruna. The game is a top-down tactical arcade shooter that lets you play with an NFT as your main character that you can then play, level up and even land out to other players, but more on that later. The PvE game mode encourages players to shoot, raid and loot treasures to gain monumental rewards from drops. Rewards that can be exchanged for weapon upgrades, rare in-game items and even real-world currency. By offering players the opportunity to earn rewards by playing, the game merges DeFi and NFT gaming. Backed by the Elrond blockchain, Cantina Royale gives you complete ownership over your in-game characters to fight, raid and battle your way to riches and glory. And so if you're wondering how much it'll actually cost you to start playing or what you will have to do to get going, I've got some good news for you, because Cantina Royale is also the first play to earn blockchain game that is also completely free to play. You heard me. While other play to earn games often have a rather frustrating entry barrier, since they will ask you to buy an NFT to be able to play in the first place, Cantina Royale have decided to go in another direction by allowing anyone to get going right away. Players who did not get one of the 15,000 Genesis Space Ape Collection NFTs, again more on that in a minute, will still be able to start playing right away with a free NFT. Personally, I think this is the game's biggest advantage over the competition, simply because the onboarding process with most blockchain games is so incredibly annoying and even at times expensive. Speaking of the onboarding process. How will new players get started if they don't have an Elrond wallet or if they are completely new to blockchain gaming? Well, while other games require you to sign up with an already existing wallet, Cantina Royale will have a frictionless, easy and quick onboarding made possible by Verco. But before I tell you more about that, I would kindly ask you to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with everything Elrond related. It's free and I've heard that it increases the chances of winning Cantina Royale lottery tickets. I've heard. But go ahead and subscribe anyways if you haven't done so already. So let's get back to it. The game is built on Verco and if you're wondering who or what that is, Here's a quick summary. Verco is a layer 2 gaming protocol that introduces the first ever Metaverse Experience Framework or MEF, allowing developers to easily port new or existing titles onto the blockchain. This framework will allow players to sign up to Cantina Royale without having to create or sign in with an Elrond wallet. From the account creation to token management, Verco will allow players to manage all their assets with its internal wallet management system. Blockchain gaming just became easy and I will definitely keep an eye on Verco since their promise to being able to bring any game onto the blockchain with an easy onboarding process really seems like it could be a game changer. But there's more. To make the game as user friendly and accessible as possible, there will be zero gas fees. And while we're on the subject of tokens and tokenomics, let's have a look at that as well. The in-game currency is called Crowns, which is a conversion of the CR token. Crowns can be used to upgrade NFT characters and weapons, to unlock other in-game assets and for recruiting characters and other utilities within the game. In total, the CRT has a supply of 1 billion tokens, with almost half of the tokens being allocated to the ecosystem, the players and the community. And now, last but not least, let's talk about the most important aspect of the game, which is of course the fully playable 3D NFTs. 
Now, as I've said in the beginning, every player will start out with an NFT, which allows them to start playing right away. The developers say that in theory, any player can progress through the game without having to spend a single cent. However, if you would like to be able to gain rewards in item upgrades, NFTs, characters and gain access to specific perks within the game, you must hold what the game lists as premium characters, which simply put are NFTs that you actually hold. Which begs the question of how do you get an NFT character? And while some parts of the game are still under development, I'm happy to say that I can reveal this secret right now. Basically, you have two options. Number one is the in-game marketplace. Just like the rest of the Metaverse experience framework, the marketplace is provided by Verco. And while many NFT marketplaces can be a bit messy in terms of secure transactions and buyer protection, Verco promises to deliver a safe environment for players to buy, sell or even auction off their NFTs to, in turn, increase their portfolio values or find unique assets that would enhance their gameplay. The second option is the lending platform, which is also provided by Verco. When it comes to other blockchain games, players are often confronted with the high costs to play in the first place, as well as steep learning curves, which discourages users from investing and playing new titles. With Cantina Royale, however, the landing platform streamlines the NFT lending process, making it accessible to everyone, especially first-time blockchain gamers. And while all of this would be reason enough to be excited, Cantina Royale have announced that they will have an NFT collection bootstrapped into the game. The so-called Genesis Space Ape collection features 15,000 unique NFTs and what is special about them is that each Space Ape will be entitled to 1% of the in-game earnings from each future generation that shares the same common descendant. So, anytime a subsequent generation of a Genesis NFT earns rewards in the game, you will be entitled to 1% of it as long as you hold the original NFT. This process of generating more NFTs from an original one is what Cantina Royale call recruiting, otherwise known as breeding, which raises two questions. One, how do you acquire a Space Ape NFT? And two, how does recruiting work? Unfortunately, I cannot answer the first question simply because it hasn't been determined yet how the Genesis Space Ape collection will be distributed. And then regarding the second question, the recruitment mechanism has already been published. So the general idea is that as players progress through the game, the recruiting option will be made available. Once you have enabled the recruiting feature, you can then generate more NFTs, which you can then sell to other players while continuing to earn 1% of the rewards. If you would like to learn more about the project and see a very detailed explanation on the different game modes, I highly recommend that you check out the white paper that I referenced throughout this video, the link to which you can find in the info box. Now that you know everything that you need to know, let us know if you're excited about the new Maya Launchpad project in the comments below. If you are considering taking part in the Cantina Royale IDO, there's still some time to do so until the end of Friday, July 8th. And if you would like to see a short tutorial on how to complete the KYC process, make sure to check that out. And we've also made an additional tutorial on how to stake your e-gold. So make sure to watch that next. Until then, all the best and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.